Good afternoon. We are going to start a new unit in math today. It's called geometry, and geometry is all about shapes. Today, we're going to take some vocabulary words down. There's quite a bit of them, so we're not going to actually have a lesson. Um, we're just going to do some vocabulary, and then I want you to watch the video about quadrilaterals. Quadrilateral is a fancy word, meaning a shape that has four sides. The word quadrilateral has a prefix, quad, Q-U-A-D, or Q-U-A, and that means four. So whenever you hear that Q-U-A, it means four of something. So a quadrilateral means a shape with four sides, okay? Quarter means four, right? Four quarters in a dollar, four quarters in a football game, four quarters in a school year. So Q-U-A is a fancy, or quad means four. We're gonna talk about quadrilaterals, so you need your math journal and a pencil, and there's quite a bit, so get ready. You might need to pause me. Okay. So let, we're gonna give it our title. Quadrilaterals. It's a long word. And we're gonna make our three column chart that hopefully we're getting pretty good at doing. Remember how we do that? We use our finger spacers to make sure that our lines, our columns are about equal. I'm gonna go straight down nice and slow so my line doesn't get wonky at the bottom. There we go. Word, meaning, example. Number one, we're probably gonna go on the second page. So we're gonna start off with um, a quad or a polygon. What is a polygon? It's a closed shape. only has straight sides. What does that mean, closed shape? We know what closed means. Is this closed? Nope. Is this closed? Mm-hmm. So, is there any open spaces on this shape? Nope. Is it all straight sides? Yep. So is it a polygon? Yes. What about this? Are all the sides closed? Nope, because there's an open space here and an open space here. Are there straight sides? Mm-mm. So that is not a polygon. Okay. And I go down to my longest column to keep it all in one nice, beautiful box. And I go to number two. Uh, we're going to write the word quadrilateral again. It's really long and it's not all going to fit in that little space. So we're going to do my quadrilateral. <laughs> quadrilateral. And a quadrilateral, like we just said, is a polygon with four sides and four angles. Okay, so does that have four sides? One, two, three, four, yep. Does it have four angles? One, two, three, four, yep. So that's a polygon or a quadrilateral. Is a triangle a quadrilateral? No, because a triangle only has three sides. And that prefix tri actually means three, like a tricycle. A tricycle has three wheels. Okay, number three. Let's look at Trapezoid. A trapezoid. 
A trapezoid has, is these are all that we're gonna talk about today are quadrilaterals, okay? A trapezoid has one pair of sides that never cross. So look here, if I draw a straight line and then two sort of diagonal lines like that, when it says two pair of one pair of sides that never cross. So if I draw an imaginary line, if I take this, this line and extend it and stretch it out and the bottom one, Will those lines ever cross? No. But if I do it to the other sides, will those lines eventually cross? They would cross at the top. But a trapezoid has one pair that never crosses. So we got that here. Number four. Parallelogram, I like that word. Parallelogram. And you might need to go on underneath it. Parallelogram. And a parallelogram has opposite sides are same length. Okay, so it's almost like a rectangle that got kind of pushed over a little bit because these two sides are the same and these two sides are the same. All right, let's go down to number five. And we have a rectangle. Well, let's see. Let's talk about this. A right angle. A right angle is the same thing as a square corner. And I'll give you an example, so just relax if you don't understand what I'm saying yet. So a right angle is a square corner. So if in the corners, if you can draw a little box in it to make a square, see how I made a square right there? That's called a right angle. I can do that here, I can do that here, I can do that here. Can I do that in the parallelogram? If I made the two lines, would it make a square corner? Mm-mm. Nope, it wouldn't because it's slanted on the side. So a right angle is a square corner. And our next word, a rectangle, I'm sure you all know what a rectangle is, but now you know the real way. A rectangle has four right angles or four square corners. So I can do four square corners right there. And that is a rectangle. You might need to go over to the next page by now and that's fine. I'm almost there. Okay. Number seven. Rhombus. 
rhombus, R-H-O-M-B-U-S, rhombus. And a rhombus has all sides, are the same length. So is a rectangle a rhombus? Mm -mm. Not this one because this one all sides are not the same length. A rhombus all sides, all four sides because it's um, quadrilateral, all four sides <clears throat> are the same length. A lot of people like to call a, or draw a rhombus like a diamond. Right, or a kite. Okay, I can fit one more in my paper. You're probably already on the second page. And we're gonna do square. I have about three words left, we're almost done. Square. You know what a square looks like, but now you know a square has four right angles or four square corners and four sides that are all the same length. All right? Four right angles. All sides are the same length. So if I draw my square, I can make four square corners and all sides are the same length. All right, now I'm gonna go to the next page. You might need to pause if your hand's getting tired of taking notes. I told you we had a lot of words. Okay, I'm gonna draw my finger space, my lines. What number was that? That was eight, nine, wow, it's a lot of words. Okay, vertex. And that is the point where two sides meet. Let me rewrite that because that was sloppy. Vertex. So if I have this, this would be my vertex right here where I've drawn my arrow because that's where this side and this side meet up, it's like a corner kind of. Okay. Two more. Number 10, I don't think we've ever taken this many notes before. We're gonna say the word convex. And a convex polygon all angles point out. Hmm, you're probably thinking, what on earth does she mean by that? So look here, pointing out, right? Sticking out. They're pointing out, okay? They're not going in. And the opposite of convex, last word, boys and girls, is concave. The word concave, think of what you hear in it. You hear a cave, and the cave goes what? In, right? A cave goes in. So if a convex has angles that point out, what do you think concave means? It goes in, exactly. One or more, so it doesn't have to be all, you gotta at least have one, one or more angle 
points inward. For example, looks kind of like a book, right? You see how this guy, this angle is coming in? That means it's concave. See how these two angles are coming in? Instead of going out or out, they're coming in to meet. That means it's concave. It's a concave polygon. Okay, I know it was a lot of words, which is why we're not gonna do an extra lesson today. We need to have our background, our schema, our filing cabinet. We need to know some of this before we can start our lesson tomorrow. So get your notes in, watch your video for some more background knowledge, and we will get started with geometry tomorrow.